Texas farms and ranches are an important part of the state's history. Each year, a farm family is given the Family Land Heritage Award. Kevin Spafford, our Legacy Project Specialist, has our story. As Christine Besant walks through her backyard, she checks on her irrigation system and feeds her horses. Besant and her husband are now the caretakers of the Sloan Sisters Ranch. The ranch has been in her family for about 150 years. They received the Family Land Heritage Award from the Texas Department of Agriculture for farming on the same piece of land for more than a century. It was built in 1882. They moved in in 1883 by my great-grandparents. Then their daughters lived here until they died, and my husband and I moved in in, I think, 1982. The historic ranch is named for aunts Laura and Amy Sloan. It includes more than a historic homestead. A wash house, horse barn, chicken house, and other structures adorn the property near San Saba River. Though technically retired now, Christine finds herself hard at work taking care of the ranch and the home, the only thing she ever wanted to do. Even keeping a new house up is a constant battle, but a house this old, there's a lot of maintenance. And the challenges, I guess, on the ranch are the same as they've always been. Drought and prices that maybe sound good, but when you price gas and insurance and all other things, it's relative. Looking back over her 20 plus years at the ranch, she hopes her family's rich heritage is carried on through her nieces and nephews. Private poverty is the backbone of any free society and the family land heritage helps show the importance of private property and bring it to the public's attention. A couple of hours southeast, near Lockhart, sits the Graham family ranch. Donnie Graham and his three sons live and work on the property that his great, great, great uncle bought in the 1870s. My father used to raise cotton and corn, uh, but he was, it was full time then, but I had to work out, and my wife worked out also, and so it's strictly devoted to cow now. I'm 68 years old, and this is the only place I've ever lived. And I can remember being on this creek bottom with my father picking up pecans, and my mother down here, my brothers. The memories is so much to me. Donnie has set up this 135-acre ranch so that he can one day pass this historic property down to his sons and keep the memories alive. I didn't realize it as much until I went to the Heritage Award. And where there's 24 million people in the state of Texas and there's less than 5,000 people that has received this award, I think it's a great honor. I really do. And, and I hope my family does keep it going, you know, after I'm gone.